For a 96-year-old Watertown man, this Veterans Day brought a flood of memories. He's looking, he's looking back fondly on his naval service and sharing those memories with 7 News reporter Lexi Burning. For Luke Mallon, his decision to join the Navy was an easy one. He woke up, went to the recruiting station in Watertown, and signed right up. I said to my mother, I said, I'm going down to join the Navy. She said, you are not. I said, I am too. So I went down, signed up, and away I went and never looked back. That was in 1950, during the Korean War. He went off to boot camp shortly after and was later stationed in Newfoundland. I was up there 21 months. I got transferred uh, from Newfoundland to the USS Wisconsin battleship. It's where Mallon called home for 13 months, one of the largest and last battleships ever built by the U.S. Navy. There was a good bunch of guys aboard. We had a lot of fun. We just enjoyed ourselves. We didn't get in any trouble. We played a lot of cards at night. Mallon served on the USS Wisconsin until 1954. Then he served in the reserves until his retirement. In 2021, the petty officer went back to the USS Wisconsin in Virginia. At the time, he told us a walk on her deck felt like a trip down memory lane. A lot of memories aboard ship. But those days are gone forever. But those days remain in Mallon's mind and are reflected in his medals. He was awarded four of them during his time in the Navy, including the National Defense Service Medal and United Nations Service Medal. I'm very proud of my service. I'm proud of being in the Navy. And I'm just, I'm just proud man, that's all. Now 96, he wants others to share in the joy the Navy brought him. If somebody wants a good experience, they want to go, they love the ocean, love the sea. Join the Navy and make sure you get sea duty. That's, get aboard a ship because you'll like it. It's been nearly 75 years since he walked into the recruitment center, but Mallon says it feels like just yesterday. Lexi Bruning, 7 News.